T-minus fives with Chris Radcliffe talking about building Martian cities, and this is an awesome presentation. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's super minimalist. Yeah, she says this because I'm completely unprepared. Yay! All right, let's go. Hi, I'm Chris, and I have another crazy idea for you. <laughs> so I want to talk about building Martian cities, just like it says on this handy slide. <laughs> totally unprepared. No, so, so I want to talk about building cities on Mars. This is not near-term stuff. This is not like, should we go to the moon first or Mars first? Or how do we get the public interested? Or how do we make this a business model and make it make money? No, it's crazy. So the first thing that I'm starting with is we're going to Mars to stay, which actually Mary Michael just totally made the great case for. So yes. <laughs> What? All right. So we take our humanity with us, said somebody just a few hours ago. <laughs> and what that means is that we're not going to go to Mars and suddenly become, you know, robot space people who go around in jumpsuits that are all silvery and this kind of thing. We have to start thinking in terms of the stuff that we have now that keep us human. And one of the things that we have are cities. Now. I mean, we're in a, a, a wonderful city. It's a city that is a machine that basically allows us to be civilized. We didn't have to worry about hunting today, and that's great. We didn't even have to worry about growing vegetables today. That's also great. We just kind of walked over to a table and went, hey, this stuff is good. And so when people talk about Martian cities, go look this up. I actually did so when I was trying to prepare this talk in the first place. And it's hilarious because Martian cities are a big dome with nothing underneath it. Nobody talks about how it actually works. But we already know how cities work to an extent because we live in them, we have them. We have good ones, we have bad ones. We know um, the things that we like about cities, the things that we don't like about cities. And so we can take all of that with us. So like for instance, what makes San Francisco a livable city? There are lots of people who have written lots of words about how that works. You know, walkability, is that important? Is it, you know, where it is? Is it access to resource? <laughs> <laughs> there are also counterexamples. <laughs> Right? So LA is, I know there are people who love it, but it just, it bugs me every time I have to be exposed to it. So, so the idea though is that we're gonna go to Mars and we're gonna start from scratch. We don't even have plants. We've got nothing. There's no water to, to situate it by. And so what, how do we actually start with a city? So the, the very first thing, uh, or back in it. So, what we can take as inspiration is uh, the idea of new urbanism. And so this basically builds the city around people and about kind of our cognition and how we actually work. Uh, there's actually a great, uh, it's a blog, it's a company, it's called Cool Town. If you've ever uh, had a chance to check it out, uh, or if you haven't, check it out. And what they do is they talk about what are the conditions people-wise that basically make a city that is a cool town that you actually, you're drawn to and vibrancy happens. Uh, Car-free cities is uh, another idea where you take some of the, the machinery that we have put into cities out of the city and see what happens instead. And there's a whole book, it's called Car-free Cities. There's also a website called carfree.com. And uh, the idea is how do you build it around people and kind of bring the city in around what people want to do. And I think there's a lot to learn from that for a Martian city. Because the, the point is we're not going to hop in our cars on Mars and drive down the street. The street is probably going to be very small because you, you make all your air and you keep it all there. So what we can do, uh, we talked a little bit earlier today about uh, analog, uh, Mars analog. And um, you could set up a city that's on Earth that's an analog of a Martian city. You know, make sure that every every resource that you have is uh, brought in, and uh, make sure that it's completely out of the way. And the only reason that you're there is to be this city. Maybe you know the the whole reason that you're there is to produce uh, crazy ideas. Maybe the whole reason that you're there is to learn how to back up humanity uh, when you send it to Mars. 
and you, you set up the city on Earth as an analog, and you learn all the things that you need to go to Mars. And that went much quicker than I thought it would. So, <laughs> thank you very much.